guys. What we doing? <clears throat> what we doing today? We back in them deep man-made canals, but we're gonna showcase the brush hog, and maybe some crawfish today. We're gonna go with a a weedless option because we had several snags on some of these laid over trees back here last time. That's gonna help miss out on some snags, and we're just gonna show you how effective these uh, creature baits are for bass and some redfish. Just shows you the versatility of these little creature baits. You know, there people know about them and use them for bass, but redfish certainly love them too. It's the thing, and big misconception in fishing is a lot of people think freshwater baits are just for freshwater fish, and vice versa, saltwater baits are just for saltwater fish, but baits are made for fish. They don't, nobody should know, should bother whether it's for salt water or fresh water. Choke that brush hog down. Let's put him on the scale. Or should I set a ruler? Oh yeah, he makes it. 16 and a quarter. Got to be 16 inches here in Louisiana. This one might be short. Let's check him out. He is. Yeah, this one's only 15 and a quarter. A lot of fun. Great change of pace for when you're fishing these bass too. But look, this is how you want to rig your brush hog. This is our. We got two different style colors. This is sizzle and bacon. We got a pork chop, and we also have a purple one called a crucial on delay. We're going with the sizzle and bacon right here. So it's just your basic worm rig. You know, you're just gonna nose hook it right at the top and then thread it with, a, this is a three aught wide gap hook. And then you can even hide the, you know, exposed hook there. Got a 5 sixteenths bullet weight right there. And we're pitching it in some of these, some of these trees and all that get laid over from hurricanes and stuff like that. And these fish really like it. So if we want to get really tight to those trees, you know, these um, weedless rigs are going to let you live a little bit more dangerously and get up in those tree stumps. Fish a horn. It's like a bass this time. Moved about five feet. Went for three reds. So a bass. All on the good old brush hog. Now the way you can work these creature baits, you can just lift and kill it. Because there's so many little finger lengths and arms coming off of it. Just letting it free fall gives it plenty of action. I like to jig it a little bit, similar to a matrix shed, just some little pops, and then let it fall down. It's just really up to you. Same thing as we talked about last uh, episode. So here's a little showcasing you how to rig it. So you just, like I said, you just nose hook it, 
come through, penetrate that hook in an area to where it's gonna be straight. And go ahead and hide that exposed hook. That way you don't hit none of these roots and trees, fallen trees, and it's just gonna, you want it to be as straight as you possibly can. over to the pork chop color which doesn't have the red flake in it that's just a it's a prime example of how some of these fish can be right up on the bank and some can be all the way out by the boat that's why you got to work it the whole way most of the time they're gonna be in the same water column you know, they're either going to be relatively close to the bank or way off. Today we're finding there, it could be either way. So we're throwing up tight, working it all the way back to the boat. That's a red. That's a red. There we go. This one's not going to make the cut. But certainly, again, very fun when you stick a red while you're bass fishing. It's about 14 incher. But as you can see, this one, the pork chop, similar to the sizzling bacon, just doesn't have that red flake. More of a more, more dull green look. Your nibble on that one? It looks like you're bad. <laughs> yeah. nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nice, nice green trout there. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. So, again, guys, going from bass to reds, bass to reds. Super fun thing to do in the winter. That's really cool. Like this one's got a little prop scar or something on him or maybe something tried to bite him. But just showing you guys, you want to throw matrix, no problem. If you want to go through a little bit less snags, I uh, recommend going with a weedless creature bait like our brush hog or our matrix craw. But uh, both are definitely gonna work. But this area is a little wooded. And if you got some snags in the area, I do recommend maybe some weedless setups like this here all right guys now i'm going to go ahead and switch it up to a crawl just to show you guys the versatility of this lure also i'd probably recommend the brush hog today just because the bass and reds are on the smaller side it's a little bit beefier bait but maybe it'll land us some bigger fish so same thing nose hook it just like the like the brush hog, the difference is we're gonna use a four aught hook here. It's a little bit bigger bait, a little bit more plastic you gotta penetrate. Come through that hollow part on this matrix crawl here. Bullet weight on the top, you just want it straight. So just keep working with it till when you hold it like that, it's straight as an arrow. You're gonna work the bait exactly the same. Pitch it up tight to the bank. When it's falling, them little crawls flap. It's got really nice presentation. You know, most of the time when you guys see us using this crawl, it's for sight fishing reds and we have it on a swim bait hook. But that's when we're reeling it steady like a spinner bait. If you want it to free fall, you want the, the weight of the lure to be up on the head of the, uh, the lure. That way when it free falls, the gravity pulls it straight down and when it's shooting down, it's going to make them legs flap. If you're using a swim bait hook, it's going to kill from the belly side, which is still an effective presentation. But me personally, bass fishing deep ledges like this, red fishing deep ledges like this, I'd rather to wait up on the top of the lure, having that, having them little legs 
flap when it's falling down to the bottom. Nice little chunk there. And this color here on this crawfish that we're using, this is called the Blue Magic. And after your boy Frank Lucas, for you movie buffs out there. It's a little black and blue, the blue flake. Awesome little color, great little creature bait. That yields some chunky little marsh bass. Alrighty guys, so last episode you saw us using regular old matrix shed, catching bass and reds. This episode we come back to dead end canals with laid over brush piles and trees. We show you guys how to Texas rig our matrix creature baits, which is the matrix crawl and the matrix brush hog, rigging them weedless, avoiding snags. We hadn't went through any hooks or I think we went through one lure just because it tore up. It's a way to go when you got a lot of snags around, catching bass and reds. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. We got a nice early start, came in here, shot a quick video. We're going to go ahead and get out of here and uh, go try some other stuff today. Might see another Dockside TV, TV episode on uh, wintertime conditions. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to the bait box, Matrix Bait Box, get, you, get your hands on some of our creature baits coming out this month. And until next time, good fishing.